Okay, so we uh, created deposit and withdraw functions, and uh, we also create the test cases for them. And the main reason for creating deposit and withdraw functions is obviously we're mimicking something from the real world, the concept of a bank account. That's what we're doing, but uh, we are all. We also want to protect the integrity of balance. Bank account owns balance, and bank accounts going to do its best, or we are going to do its best to help bank account protect balance. Right, make making sure that uh, it's modified only when it needs to be modified after some basic rules are met, and we did that with deposit right i mean very basic rules like just make sure the amount is greater than zero and for withdraw we had some basic rules too like greater than zero and we can't try to, we can't withdraw more than what we have right so and that way we are uh protecting balance right and finally like this was on the first lecture for classes if we know we are not modifying balance then we make that function const that way we cannot put a statement in here in the function code for get balance that modifies balance if we do we will not be able to run our program it'll crash right so <clears throat> that's what we're doing and i think we also covered uh, the constructors right so the good thing is that most major programming languages have the same rule for constructors so remember like if we don't provide any constructors behind the scenes c plus plus provides a default meaning a constructor without parameters for us behind the scenes it creates it however once we create one constructor with at least one parameter c plus plus will not create this one meaning we have to explicitly create it. So that's just the, the rules for constructors. And uh, for the most part, this works for, for all programming languages, right? Maybe with a little difference here and there, but if you understand that, okay, I gotta make sure the constructors are working as I expect, whether you're working with Java or C Sharp or, or Python, right? Then you can do some basic tests to tackle that. So that was a short overview of what we uh, did last week. And we created some test cases where we uh, tested withdraw. I mean, we tested bank deposit with default constructor, make sure zero balance. And then we added uh, some, ba well, let me see here. I think it's, yeah. So then we uh, created two accounts. This, this example here was just to, drill the point home that if you create two variables for bank account, account one and account two, you can work with them individually. They'll never uh, step over each other's balance, right? And I showed you a diagram for that too. And it's because account one is created in its own memory scope, assuming all of this is main. So we have account and account gets its memory block it only has one variable balance, zero. Account two has a balance of 100. Thus, if we modify account balance, we are modifying this balance and not this balance, right? So that's what that test case was proving. And then I, I showed you with a diagram. We did the same thing for withdraw. We did some uh, withdraws and made sure that we uh, got balance uh, correctly. And then we did one with deposits and withdraws to make sure that uh, withdraw function and deposit function, no matter which one we use, it'll still keep the correct balance. And our test case was successful, so uh, there was no issue there. Okay, so that's what we had done uh, last week, right? A quick, quick overview. Let me see here. Uh, yeah, so let me stop the video here.